The approach of this book and what it aims to prove. Using the Bible to prove it goes against modern Christian beliefs. While Muslims disagree with Christian theology, including their beliefs about the Trinity, the concept of redemption, and other Christian concepts, Allah in the Holy Quran still praises sincere Christians and states that they are nearest to Muslims in the ways of love, affection, support, respect, and humility because they have righteousness and are not arrogant. You will certainly find that the closest of them in friendship with the believers are those who say, we are Christians. That is because among them there are priests and monks and because they are not arrogant. When they hear what has been sent down to the messenger, you will see their eyes overflowing with tears because of the truth they have recognized. They say, Our Lord, we have come to believe. So, record us along with those who bear witness. Quran, chapter 5, verses 82, 83, and 84. Unfortunately, many well-intentioned Christians follow modern Christianity, which is a corrupted version of the teachings of Jesus Christ, a version that he never preached or taught. This book encourages Christians and non-Muslims to cross-examine what the Bible states about God, Jesus Christ, and related concepts. If this is done sincerely, one will conclude that neither Jesus Christ nor the Bible teaches what the Church teaches today. One will conclude that Jesus Christ and the Bible never taught the Trinity, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God or divine, or the concept of redemption. Nor did Jesus Christ permit his followers to abandon the law of the prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Muslims do not believe that the Bible in existence today is the true word of God, as the revelation that Jesus Christ came down with was never preserved. Today's Bible consists of the words of men who are unknown and not the actual words of God or Jesus Christ. While the Bible may consist of translated fragments of the original scripture revealed by God, it is mixed with words of prophets, historians, scholars, and many random, unknown men, and contain malicious inserts and deletions made throughout time to promote people's agendas and political and financial gain. The Bible is what Christians claim they use to extract their strange beliefs. This book will prove that modern Christian beliefs are not stated or taught in the Bible and go against Jesus Christ's actual teachings. If one were to read the Bible carefully, one would find the teachings of Islam to be the true religion and way of life of God, and not what the Church teaches. The Holy Quran states that Christians and Jews say that no one shall enter paradise except Jews or Christians. Then, the Holy Quran challenges them to bring forth proof that what they say is indeed correct. They say that no one shall ever enter paradise unless he is a Jew or a Christian. These are their fancies. Say, bring your proof if you are truthful. Quran, chapter 2, verse 111. This book will prove the truthfulness of Islam by referencing the Bible and the Holy Quran and using common logic. The Holy Quran directs Muslims to call people to the actual teachings of God with a common starting point that there is only one true God, the creator of the heavens and earth, without associating any partners with him. Say, O people of the book, come to common terms as between us and you, that we worship none but Allah, that we associate no partners with him, and that none of us shall take others for lords beside Allah. And if they turn away, then say, bear witness that we are they who have surrendered unto Allah. Quran, chapter 3, verse 64. The goal of this book is to provide indisputable evidence 
that if anyone worships any one or anything other than the one supreme God and being in the heavens, whom Christians refer to as the Father, who is all-powerful, almighty, all-knowledgeable, all-knowing, all-seeing, and the only one worthy of worship and veneration, they are not worshiping the Creator. Instead, they are worshiping a creation of God and not the actual Creator Himself, which is a severe error and cardinal sin. This includes worshiping Jesus Christ, as He is a creation of God and not the Creator Himself. This book provides irrefutable evidence that the teachings of modern Christianity, that Jesus Christ is God, the Son of God, part of Trinity with God, and divine in any way whatsoever was never preached by Jesus Christ, nor is it taught in the Bible. This book provides irrefutable proof that Jesus Christ was only a human prophet of God, who only preached the worship of God in the heavens, whom Christians refer to as the Father. This book provides irrefutable proof that the revelation that Jesus Christ came with was tampered with by human hands after he departed for personal and financial gain. This has happened many times in the past. Due to God's mercy, when God's revelation was tampered with, God sent a new messenger to restore his original message to humanity. Since the revelation that Jesus Christ came with was tampered with after his departure, God sent his last and final book, the Holy Quran, with his last and final prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, to restore his original message. This time, God took it upon himself to safeguard and protect his final book for humanity from any man-made alterations or any form of corruption. All previous books and prophets were meant to be followed by a particular group of people for a specific period, and not by all of humanity until the end of time. Therefore, God did not protect past scriptures from man-made alterations. Today's Bible is mixed with words of men, and contains hundreds of scientific errors that prove it is no longer in the same form as it was when the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was present. The Holy Quran is the only scripture today that exists in the same way as it was revealed, word by word, letter by letter.